Hey what's up guys in this video I am going to show you how can you create WooCommerce simple product programmatically you may know about how to create product from WordPress but in this video I am going to use PHP so let's start in my plugin I have a function there with the WP footer hook it means it will load on the refresh of the page so guys in this function I have plenty of variables in this variable for example product name description accept price sale price stock of the product SKU and stock status so in this function I have a callback function also to check if product is exist or not I am checking by meta key and meta value I have a custom meta ID I will give it a meta value and in this function I am checking from database if the meta key and meta value match then it will return the post id for example in my database i have a table post meta and in this table i am going to check post key and post value post key is equal to product id and meta value is equal to this and this is the same scenario i am checking from by code so it will return nothing if the product id is not exist and it will return post id if it is exist and in the second line I am going to check if post ID exists then I will use it if it is not then I will use 0 so after that I am going to use a check so if product ID exists I will update the product and if it is not exist then I will create a new product for creating a new product there is a function wp insert post and I am going to use it so this is the definition and this is the description so these are all the parameters of this function you can read it So in this function I am going to copy these arguments and I will clean it according to my need. I just need these things and I am going to put it publish. This is the status of the product and this is the post type. For example our post type is equal to product. And I will pass all the arguments. Description will be there, and accept will be there. So after that, I am going to call the function. So just change the parameter. So after that it will insert a post and return a product id and I will use the product id to update all the other metas. For updating metas I am going to use update post meta. So this function has three parameters first one is the product id. Second one is the meta key name. So meta key name is the product id and third one is the meta value. So after updating custom product id I am going to refresh my front end page because I am using wp footer hook. So I refresh the page and I am going to refresh this also. So guys as you can see a product is created by WP insert post and if I edit this product as you can see long description and short description is also updated and I am going to copy this post id and search for So guys as you can see a product id is the custom meta I have saved it is also mapped so whenever I 
again refresh the front end page it will return the post id from getting by this function if product id is exist then it will use this condition and i am going to update data by wp update post this is the also wordpress function to update any post and product in the wordpress So I am going to use this so like WP insert post I am also using WP update post we just have to give it a ID and we have to change parameters we can put it also there and any other parameter such as post status so after that it will update my post so after that i am going to update my other meta such as product price for the price this is the meta key For the stock, this is the meta key for SKU. So, whenever I refresh the front page, just like that, and after that, I am going to refresh it also. And going to check my meta value so as you can see SKU stock quantity manage stock these are also updated so I am going to check from the database so as you can see all the metas are saved so guys if you do not know the meta key you can create a product from there so after creating a product you just have to copy the post ID from the URL like this and you have to search for WP post meta and click so as you can see this is all my meta keys against this post so you just have to save a meta and refresh the database you can see there after refreshing so guys by this way you can create and update product programmatically so guys if you find my video useful don't forget like subscribe and share thanks for watching